So first of all, we need to convert it to a vector image. The first step is to export it as a JPEG. This squashes all the layers together. Then I open that JPEG in Coral Trace. This is the program that magically converts bitmaps into vectors. Under Image, I tell it I want the image to be black and white. Well, I know it's already black and white, but the computer doesn't know that yet. Then I trace the picture by outline. And I save the new file as a CMX file. There are lots of file options, of course, but this one is the default Coral Exchange file. Now I can copy and paste that file into Coral Draw. And if I ungroup it, all the vectors are revealed. This is when I can move them around individually and tweak parts of the image. I can try to make the horse look more like Henry and make sure that Mr. Goose's eye is the right shape. And then when I'm happy enough, I combine the image again and send it off to the cutter, where truly amazing things happen amidst the rumbling and the fire and the smoke. <clears throat> I should point out that I've only had this laser cutter for a couple of weeks. It had many exasperating teething troubles when it first arrived, and even now it is still full of bugs. But it seems to have settled down a bit recently, and if I don't upset it too much, it can do extraordinary things. Sometimes still, the results are unexpected. The first time I cut this out, it got a bit muddled up. So I refreshed the window and tried it again. Much With the legs, it. between the piggy's legs. Okay. Uh, yeah. Boing, boing. And the horse's legs. I'm just worried about the cock. Cockwall's leg might break off. Yeah. Wee. That's very pretty, Tim. Our whole farm family heaped up. No, I didn't get any dogs in there. No, Ten. I see. No oh, bees. bees. No. And oh, the sheep. Baby sheep. rabbits who will be here soon. And this is what it looks like on a bit of blue paper. Maybe it needs a picture frame as well. Anyway, as you can see, the experiment